recording, take a look at the dynagraph, we made 204 and 139 torque. And we can see here, again, we jumped in cam angle. We're looking here from our blue to our orange color brown line. We can see we've gained torque, probably another 10 foot pounds of torque throughout the whole power band. And then here on the horsepower side of things, we pretty much gained all throughout. So going from, going from 10 to 20 was a positive gain. And let's go and stop this. Let's take a look. Looking at my fuel side of things, we can see we've leaned out pretty much everywhere. Um, even on the top end here. So it's showing me that I definitely made more power. Again, if I copied and pasted and I didn't have a dyno, I'd see that it leaned out. I'd go and correct all this curve and get it back in line. But I'd know that going from 10 to 20 all throughout the entire RPM band is going to be optimal for cam angle. So I know I can run 20 everywhere. So let's go here and start to make some changes. We can see on the top end of the table, or the low end of the table here at 35, it's 13.6 that goes to 14.2. Uh, 13.9, 13.1, 13.2, 13 13.0. Let's go ahead and just add some more fuel in here. So the low end portion of the table at 3%, right in here. This looks like it was where it's the leanest, about 48. Let me see, it goes to about 14.2, right at that point, right here. I'll go here and add 7%, and then we'll just blend this in right here. Oops, let's do Control-Z. I'm just going to go and do uh, Control-I right here do some blending. Also blend it in the table right here. And then I'm just going to highlight the rest of the table, do control J, we'll add 3%. And then we'll evaluate that and see what that's going to do. Now I haven't touched my columns one through seven. We're going to be doing that and talking about that once we map out our cam angles here and we can go ahead and deal with that. Um, looking at our, look at our duty cycle here. Duty cycle is at 81%. So we're still good. We're not maxing the injectors out. We're okay going here, let's go into our spark tuning. We can see we're at 27 degrees, dropping here to about 26. We see no knock count here on the side, no knock count reported here. So all of that looks great. And let's go here, I'm gonna save it. Let's do another run through with a little bit more fuel on it. Let's see if it makes a difference. And we can try to add another one or two degrees more spark timing. Typically going from 10 to 20, we can get away with about one to two degrees more and make a little bit more power. Let's go save it, um, get 